Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all well. So this is going to be part three of my fruit salad bracelet tutorial. So if you haven't seen the first two parts where I show you how to make the cherry, the blueberry and the raspberry, you can go ahead and watch those now. I'll leave links down below. This part of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the tiny beaded lemon and orange for the bracelet. So to make your lemon, you're going to need some size 11 seed beads in yellow and green. And for the orange, you're going to need size 11 seed beads in orange and green. For both of them, you're going to need your beading thread. I'm choosing six pound fire line and a beading needle. And like the other two videos, I'm not cutting a short piece of thread for each piece. I'm cutting one long piece of thread and working from that to see how many of these I can make until I run out. Okay, so I've threaded my needle and ready to get started. Just wanted to say that for the lemon pattern, if you did want to add in limes to your bracelet, then this is going to be the same for you, just obviously using a lime green bead. So let's start with the lemon. You're going to pick up three of your yellow beads, slide those down onto your thread, and then you're going to sew up through the first bead. You're just leaving enough on your tail thread to add a couple of knots at the end. So you have this. Now we're going to pick up one yellow. And you're coming out of this one over here in this direction. I'm going to go through this one next to it in this direction. Like that. So you're sort of crossing your thread over here and going through this bead on the bottom like that. And then I'm going to go back up through that bead that we just added. And now I'm going to go through this bead right here to anchor it into place. So we have this. Now I'm going to flip it over so that that little bead that we've just added on the top is on the bottom. And we're working with these three original beads in that little triangle. I'm just sort of holding on to that yellow bead on the bottom. Okay, now we're going to pick up one and go straight through the next one. Like that. Again, picking up one. Coming out here and going straight through the next one. And again, picking up one, coming out here, going straight through the next one and up into that one above as well. Okay, and pull that tight. And as you pull it tight, just sort of encourage those three on the corners to sit up a little bit. Okay, this time picking up two, coming out of this one on the corner, skip over one, go through the next one on the corner. Picking up two, coming out of this one on the corner, skip over one, go through the next one on the corner. And picking up your last two of the row, we're coming out here, we're skipping over one, going through the next one, and up through the next two after that. So through this one, and then up. through the two after that and then pull that really tight and make sure those beads are pushed up so we have this so you've got those three groups of two on the row below and we're going to be going through those this time start by picking up one skipping over one and going through the next two Again, picking up one, coming out here, skipping over one through the next two. Okay, pull that through. Keep it pulled tight all the time as well. Picking up one, we're coming out here, skipping over one, going through the next two, and then you're at the end of the row, so you want to go up through one after that as well. 
and then pull that really tight. This time we're picking up two. We're coming out of this one, skipping over two and going through the next one. Picking up two, skipping over two, going through the next one. And picking up your last two of this row. Coming out here, skip over two, go through the next one and up this time, up through two. Okay, and pull it tight. Picking up one this time, skipping over one and going through the next two. Again, picking up one, skip over one, go through two. Pick up one, skip over one, go through two, and it's the end of the row, so up through one as well. Pull it tight. Okay, this time we're adding single beads again, not those groups of two. So picking up one, skipping over two, going through the next one. Pick up one, skip over two, go through the next one. Pick up one, skip over two, go through the next one, and up through the one above. Okay, pull that really tight, make sure there's no loose threads in there. So when you pull it tight, it should close up nicely like this. And you're gonna circle through those last three beads on the top to really make sure they come together and stay together. So you've got this. So we're working with these very top three middle beads. I'm gonna pick up one yellow and like we did on the bottom, we're gonna add that extra bead to make the kind of lemon shape. So you're coming out of this one on the top of that triangle in this direction. Again, you're sort of gonna cross your thread over the middle, go through this one at the bottom in this direction. Make sure that bead sits on top and then go back up into that bead. Like that, and now down and into the next one in the triangle. Whichever it's right next to is the one you're gonna go through to anchor it to. There's no set rules like that. Now I'm gonna move around through another bead in that triangle. So I only did that so that I'm coming out right near where the hole of that bead on the top is, just so I'm not distorting it. I'm gonna go back through that bead on the top. And now I'm gonna pick up two green beads and slide those down onto my thread like this and sort of see where they lie and I'm going to go through the bead next to where I want them to be anchored into place just like that. Okay so now I've just sewed down into my piece a little bit and I'm going to tie a knot so I'm coming out here I'm going to take my needle and catch the thread that's connecting the bead that I'm coming out of to the next one. So I've caught that thread, I'm going to create a small loop and go through the loop twice before pulling it down nice and slowly until that knot tightens and then I'm going to move on through several more beads, pulling it really tight to make sure that knot disappears inside a bead and then I'll cut my thread. And then you want to do the same thing with your tail thread and that's the lemon all finished. Yes, okay, so that's your lemon all finished. So now we're gonna work on the orange. So working on the orange now. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time and you remember my very first beaded cherry video from a couple of years back, this is exactly the same as what I use in that video. So if you've watched that video, then you already know how to make this. Um, it's really quick and simple and a really easy way to make a beaded ball type shape. So you're going to start with four of your orange beads, slide those down onto your thread, leaving a short tail, and sew up through the first bead. 
So you have this little group of four. Now you're going to put one bead in between each of those. So picking up one, coming out of this one and going straight up through the next one. Picking up one and going straight through the next one. Pick up one, straight down through the next one. And finally, this row, picking up one, going straight through the next one like always. And because it's the end of the row, also stepping up into that bead above. Like that. So we've got this little diamond, you're coming out on the corner. This time you're going to pick up two. Coming out of this one, skip over one, go through that next one on the corner. Picking up two. Coming out of here, skip over one, go through the next one on the corner. Pick up two, skip over one and through the next one on the corner. And again, picking up two, skipping over one, going through the next one. And then because it's the end of the row, you're stepping up this time through two beads. Okay, so we have this. And you can kind of encourage those four beads that you just, those four groups of two, sorry, that you just added. If you push them up, kind of encourage them to start sitting up a little bit. This time you're picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next two. Again, picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next two. And again, picking up one, skipping over one through the next two. Picking up one, skipping over one through the next two. And you're at the end of the row, so you also want to step up through the next one above as well. Okay, now you've got this, now you need to pull it really tight and as you do, you need to sort of push everything up into the centre so the beads are sitting on top of the row below. So pull it tight as you do that. And you should have this. So now we're picking up groups of two again. So picking up two, coming out here, you're going to skip over two and go through the next one. Okay, and make sure that those two beads sit on top of the two below like that. Pick up two, skip over two, and through the next one. Pick up two, skip over two, and through the next one. And pick up two, skip over two, through the next one. And then again, you're at the end of the row, and this time you need to step up through the next two beads. Okay, and pull it really tight. Now, picking up one. Coming out of these two here, we're gonna skip over one and go through the next two. Okay, picking up one, skipping over one and going through the next two. Pick up one, Skip over one, through the next two. And pick up one, skip over one, go through the next two. And then it's the end of the row. So you're gonna step up through that next single bead. Pull it tight. So you've got four single beads on the corners like that. This time we're going to stick to single beads, so picking up one, but you're skipping over two and going through one. Picking up one, skipping over two, going through one. Pick up one, skip two, go through one. And pick up one, skip over two, go through one. And it's the end of the row. So go through the one above that as well. 
So we have this, now you're going to circle through those last four beads that you added to bring them together. And when you pull that tight, you should find that they close up like that. Now we're just going to add the green bead on the top, so picking up one green. Holding it like this, I'm coming out of this bead in this direction. I'm going to go through the one opposite in this little group of four in the same direction. So through bottom to top. So the green bead sits on top. I'm going to go back through that green bead. And now connect it back into the bead on this side. And as you can see, it's already connected to this side of the bead so I'm going to go through the other side so it's perfectly anchored in the middle like that now you just need to go ahead and tie off your threads like we did on the lemon and we're all finished so that is our orange and lemons all finished so you need to go ahead and make a few each of these for your bracelet um, and we're almost ready to put it together so in the next video I'm going to show you how to make the little beaded bananas which are very cute and then in the final video we'll put it all together so we've got a lot of fruits going on right now so I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful and comment down below anything else you'd like to see and like I said I'll link my other videos that I've done so far in the description box down below um please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you can follow me on instagram at beading by hannah Thanks for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye.